The virtual matrix is a very elegant solution that we have for control individuals or remote clients. Um, with the virtual matrix, you can control uh, a remote client that has joined the, ma the, the matrix by sending cameras and objects like a web page or uh, an analytics or a, a group of cameras. And these cameras uh, and objects will be sent to that client that's running, for example, on a video. So in this example here, we have this camera. Uh, this uh, that's showing uh, uh, a small video, but this could be used with any size of, of video, obviously. In this video, we have one screen that's composed of four monitors here on the center, uh, but it's viewed as a single, uh, single uh, monitor. And then we have all these monitors on, on, the, on the sides that can be controlled independently. So, for example, if I want to send this camera here to, um, to the video, to this monitor on the center, I can just right click, virtual matrix, show at number 200. That's, that's my uh, video here. So I'll show on the 200. Uh, whenever I do it, it's going to show the current cameras that are being displayed on the video with the current layout. So you can actually change just one spot of, of the remote client or the video, or you can just uh, put it a single on full screen. So I'll just put full screen. Uh, now it's on the video and this camera is over there. I can send this camera to 200. And then if it's already on the, on the full screen, it will just change. I can also see a list of all the monitors I have on the video and which object is being displayed on the video. Okay, so, and if I wanna send a camera, I can just drag and drop to the monitor. So drag and drop to that monitor and it's gonna be there. I can send a view, for example, a view of different, uh, of multiple uh, cameras. I'll send uh, this view here, right click, to the video on the 200. Now it load, uh, loaded all that uh, view over there. I can also send my current objects. So I have all these objects on the screen and I can just right click, virtual matrix, show all objects at 200. Now the video has an exact copy of what I am seeing here and what I have configured. I can send actually this view that I have here to that monitor on the, on the top if I want. Show on 501, so I have it running over there. And these are different machines, so we have one machine running for this uh, video here and another machine running controlling all these monitors on the side. And everything integrates nicely and smoothly uh, on the client. Um, you, so you can have multiple, multiple monitors connected on different, uh, different client computers, on different locations, even different countries, whatever, as long as they are uh, connected to uh, the server, you're going to be able to view all the monitors that are part of the, of the matrix. So if I get uh, here, I'll send to 200 again. Then you're, you're here on the status of the video, you can see that the monitor 200 has this layout loaded and I can see exactly which objects are being displayed on my video right now and which user is being used uh, on that video. Um, not only that option, that these uh, virtual matrix option can be used for, to control the video, but you can also, also used to share objects between operators. So here on the surveillance client, we are gonna configure uh, the virtual matrix. So you can actually um, just label whatever monitors you have on this client. So for example, um, guest one, and I ha here I just have one monitor. So whenever, I activate the virtual matrix for this client, it means that my client will join the virtual matrix and then my monitor will be available for every other operator to send objects to this monitor. 
uh, as long as my user has rights to join the virtual matrix and the other users has rights to send objects to virtual matrix, uh, it's going to work uh, nicely. And, and I have a few options here. For example, I want to blink the, the border with red, red uh, color uh, whenever an object is sent just to... Um, to make it uh, different so, so the operator knows that there's an alarm or something like that and show the information of who, who sent that object to my screen. So whenever I do that, we just need here, guess one is already uh, part of the virtual matrix and anybody who has access to the server will be able to send uh, objects to my monitor. That means that I can also send whatever cameras I'm viewing to any other operator monitor. So as long as the operator has joined the virtual matrix, I can just uh, get all the objects here and send to that operator machine. And so if I'm seeing an event, an occurrence of anything that is happening, and I want that operator to see whatever I'm seeing as well, I just right click show all objects at that operator monitor and that's what makes the virtual matrix very very powerful um, you can control vidwall you can use it for uh, exchanging objects between uh, operators and in a very very easy uh, way to configure and to use it's it's very user friendly you can drag and drop cameras to the monitors, you can uh, right click on the cameras, send to the virtual matrix, you can right click on the, on the views and send to the virtual matrix. I can even send, for example, uh, web pages to, to the um, video wall. So if I wanna sh sh uh, show some, uh, like a website here, Now it's showing the website over there or a dashboard or anything. Uh, I can easily change objects uh, on the video wall and exchange objects between operators.